Hey guys, welcome to your best resource on everything sales and marketing. In this second lesson of the digital marketing course, we are going to discuss landing pages. So, what is a landing page? A landing page is where your visitors first land. This page can or cannot be part of your website. This is where you display your offer to your visitors in exchange for their contact information. The purpose of a landing page is to generate leads for your business. An effective landing page is the backbone of your online marketing success. You may spend hundreds and thousands of rupees with perfect ad placements on social media, but without a good landing page, your pages simply won't convert. A good landing page is engaging, organized, and well-designed. It has a persuasive sales copy or words that persuade the customers to take action and buy. It also has a valuable proposition that compels the visitors to give their contact information to you. Just a few seconds back, I used the word convert. What does this exactly mean? Conversion means getting your contact information. For some of the marketers, it could mean making you buy some products or services. Yet for some other marketers, it could be having you download their ebook. Make sure you use a good color combination on your landing pages. Your landing pages should not only be soothing, but also be attractive to the visitors. Also, a good contrast between the call to action buttons and the background of your landing pages play a very important role in making sure that the pages convert. Remember the mantra that less is more when it comes to landing pages. Putting a lot of information out on the landing page can confuse your visitors. Crisp, clear and concise messages on the landing pages can help you convert better and faster. Lastly, make sure that you only have one call to action on each landing page. Make sure that the value proposition that you're offering to your visitors is clear and loud. Visitors should know upfront why they are visiting your landing page and how they are going to benefit from the visit of your page. An example of a value proposition could be a free business plan template for you to scale your small business. Also, social proof adds to the credibility and authority on your landing pages. For example, you can add testimonials of your previous clients, social media likes and positive comments that you have received on your website or social media handles. If you have worked with other brands, you can always use their logos to generate trust and authority for your landing page. Another very common question that uh, we hear all the time is that what is the difference between a landing page and a website? Your website is a hub from where people can choose to do different things on different pages. Your home page is not a destination, rather it is an entry point for your other web pages. After all, there's a good reason why it is called the home page. The home page is also a summary that tells your visitors what they can expect from different pages and what all products and services you provide to them. Whereas a landing page is a destination, you want to make sure that your visitors do not leave from that landing page. You want to make sure that they help you complete or achieve your goals. Another difference between the two is that a website has an about us page, a product and services page, also a store possibly, whereas a landing page has none of those things. It has a simple objective and a simple goal that is presented throughout the page. It only has one component, that is the value proposition that you're giving to the customer in return for their contact information. Another question that people constantly ask is, uh, do you really need a website to host a landing page? You do not need a website to build landing pages. However, it is always good to have both of them interlinked. Make sure that your landing pages eventually are part of your website. Let us come to another topic, landing page templates. There are many providers in the market today that offer you landing page templates. However, all of those cost some money. For example, Elementor, Divi Builder, Beaver Builder, then you have Seed Pro. All of this cost you some form of payment right from the beginning. I suggest that you start with three templates. Simply do a Google search and look for complimentary landing page templates and try to download their creatives to get ideas and build your own landing pages. Okay, so now let us discuss landing page builders and how to create a landing page using a landing page builder. I use two providers for this purpose. Uh, number one is HubSpot and the other one is uh, Plugin Ops, which is a plugin available on WordPress. Let me quickly take you to my screen and show you exactly how to build a landing page using the builder. Let's go. Okay guys, let's begin here. You see I've installed the landing pages by 
plugin ops this wordpress plugin is available for free to download through the plugin feature on wordpress so as soon as you install it you'll be able to see this particular screen here you'll see options like editor templates a b testing form submissions and analytics so these things here all of these features are chargeable so for example if i click at uh, on ab testing you'll see here that uh, click here to grow your leads faster than ever so this is basically a paid feature as i mentioned uh, earlier also form submissions and analytics however i would really say you do not need form submissions and analytics uh, features from this particular plugin i think it's better you just focus on templates right now and then ab test if you really need to have it done uh, which you should i suggest that you go for uh, a paid subscription however once you log in here you'll see as i said different uh, landing pages will have different goals or conversion goals you'd say so someone could have lead generation as a main goal of their landing page someone will say click through you have sales coming soon thank you webinar and home page so all of these are basically available on uh, there's an array of uh, all those templates preloaded uh, for you on the platform right so what we will do is for the sake of this particular lesson i'll quickly show you this one which uh, i really found interesting especially for you guys when you're starting out right so this is a simple landing page with uh, which actually looks something like this right it has these options here book story and contact us however i would say that you can always remove these things from the editor i've mentioned that you want to make sure that uh, your landing page is as clear as possible you do not want any distractions to be presented on your landing page okay so once you scroll down you will be able to see here for example this could be let's say you are giving away an ebook uh, in return for the customers or the prospects email address so let's say your the name of your ebook is radical honesty and the name of the author is mentioned which you can change later on definitely and then you see here the only way to transform organizations this is basically again your your key value proposition that you're giving away download a free chapter here okay and then there's a little space for some some tagline which which you can edit i will show you in a minute how i have played around with this page so that uh, you'll have a better idea okay so once you go down a little bit about the author so this person's image along with some some background information on the author we go down then he talks about principle of work again some information and then here actually you are trying to show what benefit again the prospects will get when they download the free chapter right so what will you learn you'll learn a b c d those four options are mentioned and then again just reinforce in the end they've said sign up to download organizationally um, life-saving information download free chapter which closes again with uh, these three menu options right so this is something that uh, is available by default what you can do you can use the editor option here let me just show you uh, you can actually select you can insert press this button insert and that will take you to the editor here right if you see a permalink this is my website pratishsaveri.com i can also enter a page title as i said before it's always good to have uh, your landing pages hosted on your website for uh, for marketing purposes right so let me quickly show you how this page would look like if i had to go on to edit and make changes uh, according to my products and services right so i have just used this digital marketing course as my as my valuable uh, or a value proposition for example right so digital marketing free course for all learn everything about digital marketing for free download the ebook now so this is my value proposition in bold in in uh, in big letters so that everyone understands right away when they come to the page as to what they can expect uh, from the landing page right so what value occurs to them as soon as they come to the landing page and then i've also shared i've used canva and i've actually done up a pretty picture here of my ebook e e cover so complete course digital marketing by 
application. So we download the complete course now, which again reinforces, and then you can always play around with uh, the words here, right? Uh, you can, once you edit it, you will be able to see on the left hand side there's a panel where you can instead of simply download now, those are the generic words. You can always replace those words and and use something more reinforcing like yes, I want the free course. Again, remember during your variations, you can always play around with these words. One of the variations, uh, variation A can have download or variation B will have yes I want the free course variation C will have uh, uh, yes take me to uh, the ebook now so different variations you can try and see what works best for you right so then you go down and see something about the author that's me and you see here when I hover there's also hoot suite uh, feature hoot let right so I can actually use so this is integrated with my hoot suite also anyways coming back you can see about author then my details you don't just ignore this uh, little message got any questions this is part of my website I'm just canceling that out and some of the information about myself as to you know why I started off this course you go down lessons covered you can fill this up what will you learn you can say okay I've just picked up a few things just to show you how it would look like um, what is digital marketing how to get started then obviously I've not mention the description here where I can actually share more information about that particular point similarly I have discussed um, other points like lead generation and how to get started all about SEO and how to start a website so all of that information and then once I go down I have also uh, you see this information here I'm reinforcing my my value proposition with a benefit right ready to change your life with this valuable course so i'm asking a question to my prospects hey are you willing to are you ready to change your life with this valuable course so you do not want to miss this course at all because this is a life-changing digital marketing free course available to you as a ebook download ebook again i have reinforced here with different words but again re remember as i mentioned earlier that this is just a plain generic page I've used to show you. But again, this page will have a lot more uh, things to, to remember. For example, for example, this uh, white background, right? You want to make sure that this white background um, changes according, you change it according to the theme of your website. For example, if your website is has a light blue theme, then make sure that your landing page uh, resonates with, uh, with your remainder of your website you want your landing page to to be part of your brand communication right so even the fonts for example the fonts need to be taken care of accordingly um, you can also change this for example to instead of blue and white maybe you can have a, a, a red and in my case in my, on my website if you see there's a lot of orange uh, and white and there's also somewhere yellow and white uh, that I'm using a lot uh, in terms of my button so I could change this button to resonate with that button right also you'll see one more thing this is very legible right there's a lot of contrast as I mentioned good color contrast is very important you see there is complete white background and then there's information in black so that it really makes your content stand out so the visitors do not really have to struggle looking at your content this, this should be pleasing as well as soothing to the eyes as I mentioned uh, earlier right Great, so all that information and then uh, you do not try to fill in the page just because you have the space available. If you see, I have kept just enough information. You see, there's a lot of blank space here. Just because there's a blank space does not mean that, hey, let me just quickly fill that up, write uh, a thousand words and, you know, fill it up. You don't want to do that because, as I mentioned, your landing page should be as crisp and clear as possible, right? You do not want to really uh, mess around with that aspect. right so give, give your some brief information about yourself you really do not want to linger a lot about talk about you a lot because it's not about you a lot it's about your product or the value proposition it's about your customer or your prospect how they're going to benefit right so keep the focus on that right so in this case what will you learn really becomes the key area where you really want to share all the information that will really compel uh, compelling reasons for the visitors or the customers prospective customers to download the ebook so again this green color should go ideally i've not changed it just to uh, keep it that way but then again you can always change it according to uh, how it should look for your website right and one last thing you can always do uh, once i let me just quickly show you an editor how it looks like because 
I want to show you one important feature about uh, responsiveness of websites right so if I do that if I press uh, the insert button here it should take me to the editor I'm just going to wait for a moment you see this is processing right now so the editor should open any moment now so one key thing that i wanted to show you is the responsiveness right responsiveness of your landing pages is equally important you see here this is again the editor uh, where you can actually edit all this stuff right you can edit uh, all this information which i have done and i've showed you the finished product um, just a few moments ago so once and remember you can also add more sections you see add new section insert design blog all that you can do which is available here on the left hand side of bar here all this information is available here where you can just simply change stuff as how you want right so i'm not going to in detail in all of those things but i just wanted to show you something here so this is the desktop look as to how the page looks like on a desktop should a prospect or a a subscriber go on to to check your details of, of the landing page right so this is a uh, desktop look if i want to see i can always press this this is your tab tablet uh, look so you see here you want to make sure that it's absolutely legible and uh, it's readable and it's, it really works across devices because you do not want your content to be cut out or maybe stuck or maybe for some reason the customers are not able to see what you're trying to share right you see here there's a small cut but luckily there is nothing that I've shared here which is cut off so all those things are very important for you to make sure that uh, uh, it really works out well across devices like the last but not the least you want to make sure especially for your cell phone you see the last one is your cell phone on the cell phone it looks something like this you see here again you do not want to you see here organizations organizations is a bit cut off you do not want this to happen the only way to transform organization so you know that on once you do this uh, keep this font with this size it will be a problem on the cell phones it cuts off does not look good so you want to again go back and decrease the font size so that it really fits in on the same page you do not want organize organize it you and ns separately right because it really does not make sense it does not look good actually so you want to make sure that any any word uh, comes out as as one word right so then more information download a chapter all that information here you see all that the remainder of the stuff is okay right remainder of the stuff is okay so this is how again you see organization all you want to make sure this is organizationally and then why comes down all that should not happen right so this is how exactly you want to make sure that responsiveness is very important and once you click publish it will really publish uh, uh, onto your website and that link the one that you enter which I showed you earlier on the one you enter in the beginning that becomes part of you can share that link uh, or maybe you you can use a lead capture form on different uh, ad placements on facebook on instagram or or linkedin any of those platforms and then try to on google ppc and then definitely route all your traffic to from the lead capture form to this landing page which is part of your website and this is where you collect leads and then you can also find out what was the result uh, how many leads were you able to capture or not you can do a result you can do a test and find out with all of those variations and then eventually keep the variation that works for you right great so i hope uh, this particular lesson was useful for you and uh, yes if you have any questions please uh, make sure that you share those with me in the comment section and i'll reach out to you as soon as possible again if you have not subscribed to the channel please take out a second to subscribe to the channel right now and hit the notification bell icon that way you'll never miss any important lesson in the future catch you in a moment testing your landing Stop. pages is very important to succeed in conversions make sure you try the different variations of landing pages to get optimum results it is also known as a b testing it means to show different variations of the landing pages to your website visitors eventually you want to keep that variation which uh, succeeds the best and gives you optimum results for example you send out two variations of a landing page you see that variation a has got 45 percent success whereas variation b has got 55 percent success so eventually you want to make sure that you use b more when it comes to different ad placements and sending out your landing pages also note that some marketers keep at least five to seven different variations of the landing pages and they keep testing all of these pages to get optimum results.
So what are some of the things that you can change in your variations? Variation does not mean that you have to change the entire landing page or all the variations of the landing pages. You can change things like the catchy heading of your landing page or maybe the fonts of your landing pages, the color, the background theme. So these are the little variations you should make on your different landing pages. Another word of advice, A-B testing feature is not a free feature on any of the landing page builder platforms. So you really have two options. Either you pay some amount to these landing page builders and get it done, or maybe you just simply use the free landing pages without A-B testing and send them out. Elementor is a very good option if you want to go ahead with A-B testing feature. It costs you around $49 on Elementor Pro per year for one website. However, having said that, always do your own research and find out what works best for you. After all this that you have discussed, you have got the leads and bravo for that. You have received all the information, contact information from your clients. What do you do next? You want to make sure that once you receive these leads, you show in every stage to every customer the right content. It could be images, videos or any sales copy, for example. Engaging the prospects or the visitors is a very important part in the lead generation strategy. However, I am not going to talk about lead nurturing in this topic because this topic is exclusively for landing pages. So to summarize, what all did we cover? What is a landing page and how to go about it? What is a good landing page? What is the difference between a landing page and a website? Do you need a website to build a landing page? How do you create a landing page using landing page builders? And finally, we spoke about A-B testing. If you have not subscribed already, I really suggest that you subscribe to the channel right now. Hit the notification bell icon. That way you will not miss another important video in the future. Well, that's about it. I'll see you in the next one. Adios.